Now, let me just ask a question. How many of you, the way that you drive a car, uh, that somehow the way you, you process, you're so organized, this is the OCD people of our church. When the tank gets to about a half a tank, you have to get fuel because you get your piece back. Would you raise your hand? Okay. All right. The, the, these are the, the, the crazy people at the church. Oh, I wish I was like them, but I can't. I wish I, okay. But how many of you, you're more like a quarter of a tank, you're just like a normal person, all right? But how many of you, you wait until it is empty? And don't raise your hands yet. I'm not finished. You wait until it's empty, and then the light comes on. And then wait, don't raise your hands. I'm not finished. That's not where you are on this. The, it's empty, the light comes on, and you know how many miles past that? Plus a few more. Raise your hand. Okay, I've seen some of you on the side of the road. I've seen you there. But what happens when your tank is empty, it seems like in that moment when you can't move, that everybody's going faster than they've ever gone. It's like nothing worse than then having that wind hit you when somebody is like, don't take care about anybody around here. And I think that this is what happens to us spiritually. Some of you, your tank has been empty for a long time. And I want to talk to you how, about how to get it full again. Because the Lord has a huge plan for your life. 